Breaking news, Sanwolu in trouble as his re-election suffers setback. Influential group disapprove after Tinubu gives the approval. Hello, my wonderful people. Sanwolu is in a state of dilemma and not very sure what could be happening next. Initially, he was waiting for Tinubu to speak to the Governing Advisory Council in Lagos. That is the highest decision-making in APC in Lagos State for him to be able to contest. Guess what? That uh, body has gone ahead and has said Sanwolu could go ahead and contest for the election. But right now, other groups are saying, who is Tinubu for him to be the one to give you the opportunity to be able to go ahead and to contest and then you believe him what about you know don't you believe that the vote you know given to you by nigerians could possibly bring you or legations to that very seat and they disagree and said if you contest now we want to prove to you that um, the person called Tinubu's agreement on you becoming nigerian's president will not will not make a difference or will not make you thrive or make you become the we could make you become the president of uh, the governor of Lagos State again. Let's get all the details. San Wolu's re election suffers so setback as influential group disapproves. The re election bid in Lagos State of the governor, Barajide San Wolu, is facing a serious criticism from some quarters at present. The Muslim right concerns, Morik said it does not welcome San Wolu re-election despite being endorsed by the Lagos State Governor and by the Lake by the former Lagos State Governor, Ashwaj Ahmed Bola Tinubu, and APC Advisory Council, GAC and Cabal's reports. The comment the commenting on the development of director of Morik Isiak Akin Tola said the emergence of San Wolu for re-election violated the rule of a Christian Muslim rotation. He described the decision as unfair, provocative, and as possible operal might ensure, if not attended to with urgent and most important, considered as most important issue now. While reflecting on the decision, he reiterated that it was turn of a Muslim to be in the helm of affair, considering that San Wolu and his predecessor, Kim Wumi Ambode, we are both Christians, so it is time for a Muslim to come on board rather than allow another Christian to have another tenor. In Lagos State, it has been Christian Muslim until now when they are giving San Wolu another opportunity to contest again. This will alter the flow on how things have been in Lagos State. I strongly disagree with Tinubu's agreement and AGA. GF agreeing for Tinu Osibanjo to continue. I beg your pardon, San Wolu to continue. He said it is on record that the ex governor of Lagos State, Akin Wumi, a Christian, spent four years in office. Another Christian, Babajide San Wolu, was brought in to complete the Christian two tenor, which expires on May 2023. When will it be the turn of a Muslim? And it's expiring if. And when, when will that expire? We need to follow the rotation and the process and what has been in Lagos State rather than us altering that. Altering it will not mean well for the state and will stand to defend that indeed we have been marginalized and have not been considered as a people. So that's Morik Yakintola, uh, who is always, he's always negative, he's always on the wrong. Okay, that guy, if you listen to him, you know that something is drastically wrong. The first time I really got to know the guy and I listened to him very cleverly well was when, you know, if you remember very, if you remember very well himself and um, the person of uh, Stella Damascus, you remember her? An actress? Yes. Stella Damascus, they were discussing that child marriage should be, yeah, they should end it in Lagos. And guess what? This man in, in, in the north, this man says, no, they should not end it. It is part of their religion. And Stella Damascus was saying to him, it is part of your religion. But wh what about the people it is affecting? He said, that is not Stella's business. Stella says, as we speak, there are young girls, okay, less than 20, carrying bags because of the infection and things that have come to happen to them as a result of early marriage 
okay, which has affected their reproductive system, their urinary tract and, you know, stroke reproductive system because it was not mature. It has not developed enough to be handling, you know, birth and the whole rigor that comes with marriage, sexual and all that. And this is what you are putting these children through. They should go to school. And all the things the guy was saying, I couldn't believe I was hearing it. I Honestly, I could not believe. So since then, I said, oh, this guy is a drunk or something is really wrong. You know, you know, something is definitely wrong. Or you cannot tell a man who does not see and yet is emphasizing to you that there is a well in front of you and he cannot see. He's being directed by a lead or a cane or something. He's the one saying to you, be, be careful, oh, there is a hole there. And you look, there is no hole. You'll be wondering who among us is seeing exactly. That's the man's perspective. That's the way I look at him. It sounds very much like a blind person who is not really seeing. That's the way it feels. Okay, that's honestly the way it feels. That's the way, you know, it feels. So when you look at it, you understand, you know, how things are. You understand why we've been where we are as a nation and why things have not moved forward. You know, Virginia Sanwulu may not have been one of the best persons, but if he has opportunity to go for a second tenor, and we also have, you know, the person of Akinwumi, who may be contesting what political party, I can't tell you at the moment, you know, but it's been rumored that um, he's also considering having a second tenor. He only has four more years to go, and um, he wants to do that. Well, for this uh, Mori guy to wake up one morning and say such and such an individual is not fit to be governor because he says so and it's going to be an opera. The truth of the matter is nobody has caught him up on his track to say you can't do that. You can't instigate people. This is how they start religious you know, fight and the rest. This is how it starts. You instigate the people, those who are not wise, those who do not know their left from their right. You put things, before you know it, they start up and they begin to make some chants. And before you know it, you know, more terrible things have been done. This is what the Mori guy stands for. Not anything called truth, honesty and justice or peace. All he stands for is destabilization, ensuring that, you know, he disturbs the whole peace. Because he feels that um, his own, his own uh, you know, it, what he believes or what he wants has not been given has not been given attention to. And that's the kind of person the Mori guy is. You see, leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a good day. Bye for now. Bye.